congratulations on the movie. I just think it's one of the best films of the year. Thank you so uh, much. You know, you've obviously worked with the Coen brothers several times now. Is it sort of second nature now working on films with them? It was always second nature working with them somehow. You know, it, I, I think just because they're so good at it and they've been doing it so long, and they're so, they're, they reach a consensus so easily that, that you know, working with them is just a, it's a pleasure, really, I have to say. It doesn't feel anything like work. Well, tell me about some of the influences on the music in the film and, and, and choosing the folk songs that you chose. Well, you know, the story I'm, I was interested in telling is this, that the United States outlawed slavery in 1860 within our borders, but we still practice it all around the world. You know, every, every one of us has many slaves making shirts for us, making everything for us, shoes, making gasoline for our cars. And to, we fought, we, these, these musicians fought hard for civil rights in the United States and, and won some great victories. But as time goes on, those victories have been eroded into, a, or, or they've been turned into something else as we've transferred our, our uh, use of uh, people to other countries. So we, what, what it's about for me is we have to be careful now in the United States because we, we've had decades where we were able to talk about our, except, our exceptionalism and our freedom. And we flaunted our freedom while people are living in servitude all around the world so that we can wear these shirts and have these televisions and drive these cars. And now people all over the world can hear us talking about how great that is. And they're not feeling so great about it. So George Bush was half right when he said we got attacked for our freedom. You know, We got attacked for the freedom we flaunt in the face of their servitude. So this was, this was the story for me. The, this, this story was about this land is your land now this story is about this world is your world, and we have to begin to we have to begin to look at it that way. And I'm looking to the musicians to stand up and take their rightful place in the society again, to stop talking about technology and start playing music again. It's time for musicians to play music and not market themselves, not worry about marketing themselves, not worry about being famous, not worry about being stars. This, you know, worry about making music. This is what the world needs. The world needs music. It doesn't need any more stars. And do you think that's what this music was at that time? Yeah, this music is the history of our country. We've told the, the history of this country where many different nations came together, one out of many, to, to speak many different languages came together to build a country. And we've, we've our, our understanding of who we are has been carried through the music because that was the, that was the language, that was the common language, music. And every, everyone's music uh, merged in this beautiful way to become what we call American music. And there are all these varieties like jazz and blues and country, but they're all the same thing. It's just like wine. France has wine and they have champagne and they have Bordeaux. We have music and we have country and blues, but it's still it's still the music that grows right out of our ground, just like those vines grow right out of France's. That ground. last thing I have to ask you: the character John Goodman plays in the mm -hmm. film. Was there a little Doctor John in that character? No, I see. I thought it was more Doc Pomus. Doc really. Pomus, yeah. I, the haircut, certainly. Okay, excellent. Yeah. T Bone, honor to meet you. Thank Great you, to see Thank you. you.